So now let's try the hip drop and kick. Let's come back to the same position we were in before, so keeping the knees bent. The left leg is stationary, that's your standing leg. The right foot is in front, heel lifted, chest up, arms out, lower abs are tucked in. So now we're going to try to release the foot, dropping the hip down and up, and now you're going to actually point the toe and release the foot out. Come back down to that same position, touch, touch the toe to the floor, all the way down and up, and release the foot. The hip drops continuously, no matter what the foot is doing, which is why it's so important to keep the left knee super, super bent and really strong. And down, and release. Let's try that with music. Down, and release. Make sure that you're pointing as you kick, so you point all the toes, and there's a slight rotation in the foot so that when you actually kick, you're rotating the heel out a teeny, teeny bit. Let's try it faster. And once again, you want to make sure you're not bouncing in space. The chest is lifted and the rest of your body stays relaxed and you're still breathing. There's no strain in the neck and the arms are graceful. And that's how you drop the hip and kick.